guys, welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what we're going to do today is a Wet n Wild lipstick swatch slash try on and as you probably already know, Wet n Wild has so many different colors and I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine of them. So if you want to see which ones I have and what they look like, then just keep watching. So the first Wet n Wild lipstick I have for you is this one. It is number 911D. This is Stoplight Red and it looks like this. It is just a beautiful, rich, rich red. And I'm wearing it on my lips right now. I'll just apply a little bit more. Now, I probably should have started with the nudes and light pinks first. That would have been the smart idea, but I didn't. So hopefully it still covers when I show the other colors. Thankfully, these are very, very pigmented, so I shouldn't have a problem. But this is Stoplight Red. I like this for classic looks, kind of like what I was trying to sport today. I had the hair up with the glasses, with the earrings, and I had a 50s dress on that used to be a poodle skirt that I took the poodle off. But I think this does really good for a classic retro look. Now this, my friends, is the nudist of nudes color. This is the 900B Pink Sugar is what it's called. And it looks like this. As you can see, it's almost like a concealer on me. It literally is the exact same color as my flesh tone. So I would definitely wear a lip liner with this just to give it a little bit of definition so that it doesn't look totally stark like I have no lips. But it's a beautiful matte nude color and I absolutely love it. So I would probably line this with a brownish sort of tan lip liner particularly my Vincent Longo pencil, which I will be showing you in an upcoming video slash giveaway for my 5,000 subscriber. Um, so yes, keep an eye out for that. But this is an absolutely gorgeous color that I absolutely love. Can I say absolutely one more time? Absolutely. So next is the color Bear It All by Wet n Wild and I like this one. This is definitely a nude as well but if you can tell it's just a little bit more warm. It is a little bit more on the brown side of things rather than on the pink side of things. So I like this one. I don't necessarily think that you have to wear a lip liner with this. Um, yeah, I think it's a very very pretty color called Bear It All. Okay, so I must have got this one a while ago because it doesn't have a name. This is a super baby pink, and I will give you the number. It's 901B. It just looks like this. And I don't know if there's an equivalent to it right now, like if they did give it a name and I just haven't picked it up with the name on it yet. So if you know what this is, let me know in the comment section. But yes, I do like this one. Coral hue to it, and it is a very light, light pink. Okay, I feel like I should mention to you guys that some of these are quite drying. So if you have dry lips, you might want to wear a, you know, just a balm underneath it, maybe an EOS or something. I've been putting my Hurrah under these, which I absolutely love. It's like my favorite balm of the moment. But this next one is... Pinkerbell number 968. And I think this is so pretty. It's like a bright pop of color, I don't know, it, it almost, it's pink, but it almost has a hint of orange in it, and I think it's very, very fun for spring especially, and then also heading into summer, it's totally appropriate for summer as well. So that is Pinkerbell. Now this one is one of everyone's favorites. This is Dollhouse Pink, and it is probably the most vivid. I, if you see me looking over here, I'm just looking in the mirror to try and figure out how to describe this color. It is a bright, pop of pink and I'm looking in the viewfinder I'm not really noticing the color showing up that well so let me just get closer so you can kind of see so yeah it's a very very vivid pink and I love this one I've seen this one so many times on so many different videos and everybody loves it and of course these are only what two dollars I think or three I'm pretty sure they're two but they're such a good deal and I love this color Okay, so my lips are starting to rebel now because they're just like, I don't want any more lipstick try-ons, <laughs> but we're getting to the end. This is number 970 Purdy Persimmon. It looks like this. It is a very bright color. Um, it's on the red side, but it definitely has a lot of orange. It's a mix between orange and red. So I think this is the only orange hue that Wet n Wild has. 
So if you're looking for a good orange lipstick, I would definitely recommend this one. And yeah, let me get closer so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this one has got to be one of my favorites out of this collection. This is Cherry Picking. And it is a red color as you can see, but it definitely has a lot of raspberry in it. And yeah, that's pretty much the only way I can describe it. It's red with a lot of fuchsia. That is cherry picking. <laughs> Do you like my wipe? <laughs> okay, so this is the darkest color that I have from Wet n Wild. This is Sugar Plum Fairy. I think this is so beautiful. It's like a plummy wine color and I really, really like it. has so many lipsticks. Ugh. Let me just clean this for you first because that's <coughs> yucky. I am like not meant to film today. Ah! <sighs> Sugar. There's a little bit of smuts on there as you can see. I'll have to clean that. <coughs> hate that. I can't show that. Nostril. Where did it go? Schmutz. I don't like schmutz. Okay. Try this again.